What's up? It's your girl Lita G coming at you from Divine Intervention TV. Um, I'm just coming in, coming to talk to you real quick. Um, real quick. Um, yesterday around, I'm not even gonna say this time. Probably about yesterday about uh, five, four, four or five o'clock around this time. Just like this the energy around about this time um i literally lost my dog that i had for three years um around this time yesterday and i came home from work and um my kids actually had company and my they forgot the um lock the door um close the door and the dog ended up getting out no one realized that he was out of the house and literally um we just moved here we probably been living here maybe three weeks the most up uh, three yep yeah, three about three weeks the most and you know the surroundings is new for him the surroundings is definitely new for us um i'm doing a video Thank you. Can you be quiet? And the sur and the surroundings is literally new for um the surroundings is literally new for all of us. So um this is not the first time the door was left open and uh we couldn't find him. But I remember the fir the very first first time that it occurred with him, I panicked. He was little. I panicked. I um, started to cry. I was like hallucinating. I was just like losing it. Um, and uh, I was just really, 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 really scared. And um, I had to literally. I'm gonna say the first day I couldn't I was just like devastated the second day I noticed that um I was like you know what um I'm praying um I'm meditating um what is the purpose of me doing all of this if I am not trusting and believing in what what I'm doing you know, trusting and believing in God, trusting and believing in my ancestors and my way showers. What is it that I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for? If I'm, if in the time of need I can't trust and believe that God has a plan. And so, literally, I find myself in a situation where now I come home and once again he is missing, and immediately I felt this calmness over my body I felt a sense of knowing that he will be back um it's so funny because I have my oldest son he's 19 and he just likes to rip and run and my dog reminds me of my oldest son so I, so literally when we realized that we couldn't find him um my perspective of the situation is completely different um my attitude my vibe um was completely different um my sense of worrying was not there at all it was just a fact of me knowing that he wasn't in the house with me and i couldn't physically see him but i had a sense of knowing that he will be back it, it was just like you know, one of your kids going to the store and knowing that he will be back. I had like a strong sense something came, like spirit I'm gonna, came over me. And it was a sense of knowing that he will be back. And so, um, I sat quiet. I came in my room and I did. I sat quiet and I prayed and, you know, I prayed and um, I asked, you know, God, pray to him and I just say, you know, just make sure you know he's being he's well taken care of and 
I just have a, a knowing that he will be back. I said, just help him to find his way back home. And I left it at that with a sense of knowing. I woke up this morning. I um, did a video. I came and um, I, I mean, I went and took my shower, got ready for work. You know, I didn't even talk about it when I got, got at work. It was just as if he went away for a little bit and he was coming back. And um, the purpose of this message, because when I got home, I, I ended up finding, and literally before I left work, I had said to myself, I was like, the kids called me and I asked them, I said, did y'all find the dogs? The dog and um, my oldest daughter was like that they put a post out and she put some stuff on Facebook and Instagram about the dog. So I said, okay, fine. So as I left work, I clocked out when I got in my car. I said, all right spirit i said it's been long enough i need him to be back home by tonight literally i need him to be back home by tonight and i left it alone came home told my husband to come outside we went to go get some seafood we wanted wanted some seafood and um literally on our way coming back from getting our food my daughter my, one of my younger daughters my youngest daughter she um Said her and my younger my youngest son said mom um dad I just seen our dog so I'm like what wait you know and lo and behold we circled around the block we came came around and boom the lady had our dog they was taking care of him he was all set what I mean he he was all well but she was saying he really didn't want to eat she believed he was more scared than anything and I say that to say this, I say that to say this, how deep are you trusting and believing? You praying to your ancestors, your way showers, um, God, um, your higher self, um, and you're doing your work, you know, you're um, interceding, you're meditating, um, you're, you're 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 lighting your candles you know you're you're doing everything that it is that you feel is bringing you closer to your spiritual journey or your spiritual path you're, you're doing everything and it's like when something goes wrong do you panic or do you have a sense of knowing all is well do you have a sense of being able to take some time out to calm your mind and to know everything is all well regardless of the situation regardless of what it may look like regardless of what is actually going on in the 3d do you have a sense of knowing in the 5d that all is well do you have a sense of knowing that and um that was m the message that i wanted to bring to you today and you know it's just about no like how deep is your faith are you trusting and believing or are you just doing this for nothing you know or you, you know you're you're meditating you're praying and you're trusting and you're saying that you're trusting and believing in god you, you're you're speaking and you're saying that you walk by faith and not by sight but are you really are you are you really and you know like i said the first time that i lost him, i freaked out I panic I was like losing my mind me even thinking about or trusting and believing in God literally went out the window and by the second day I had to really sit and think and say what am, what are you doing you know um and I know that I'm not the only one that has been through that but like I said in in this moment and in this time when I sit and I think about the situation that occurred yesterday a sense of knowing came all over my body a sense of knowing and I just needed some time to myself like I just needed to sit and I needed to reflect and that's what I did and I and I just I prayed and I released it and I let it go I released it and I let it go um and I just had a sense of knowing that all was well with him that he was taken care of that if he did need somewhere to sleep 
someone had found them and sure enough the lady let me know that they they um they saw him walking they took good care of him and he was all was well with him and she also let me know that if no one came to got him she was gonna take him to the pound or whatever and it was so crazy because my husband was just saying you know um I called the pound today, but I'm going to call him back tomorrow. He had just said that, like, maybe somebody will turn him into the pound. But it just so happens we decided to go to go get some food, and we end up finding them. Now, granted, my kids, you know, they did. They went out. They looked for them. Um, and, you know, some of, some of them even started to panic. But I just, I had, I, I came up here. Excuse me. I can't, I can't, oh, and I literally, I came up upstairs and I just had to sit with myself. I just had to sit with myself and I, I kid you not, he reminds me of my oldest son so much. It's like they they just free spirit they just love to run here run near and just and when i'm ready to come back i come back that's just just how that's just how my oldest son is it's like he want to go there go there go here go there but when he's ready to come home he'll come home you know and um it, it he reminds me of him so much but a strong sense of knowing just came over my body and that's um literally i know i sound like a uh probably a broken record but it's it's really how deep is your faith how deep is your faith and before i get off um are you trusting and believing in god are you um waking up and meditating and praying and putting your best foot foot forward and knowing that you are you walking by faith are you walking by faith and not by sight are you walking by faith and not by sight and literally things like this will happen to test you to test you things like this will happen to test you to see do you really trust them believe or are you just talking is it all for show isn't off for show and before i get off i just want to do a quick um angel message and literally this is my um goddess i know it's a little backwards it's backwards but it's a goddess oracle card deck from Dory virtue and i'm just gonna pull a quick card okay so, and these are, I'm pulling. Okay, and the first card that came out was True Love. And it says the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. True love. This is a message from our angels. Um, bold. It says unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. And then the last card is. It says medicine woman. You are a channel for the divine healing power. And when I sit and I look at all this, this is burning. Hold on one second. Is this my sage is burning. Table. Oh, what's going on here? Um, when I sit back and I um. And I reflect on both of these cards. This is true love. So for me, this is um, 
you're stepping into something new you know something that you are you really love and you're passionate about and this is in all red this is nothing but like this is true love and passion and it's saying be bold with it you being bold with it and then it says you're a channel you are a channel for divine healing power and once again how deep is your faith how deep is your faith this could be a new journey that you're embarking on and you're saying to yourself uh, maybe you might know that you are a channel you are a channel for a divine healing power but you're trying to figure out where you're going to start start do it because it's something that you love it comes to you naturally it's you it's been you the whole time it's saying be bold in all that you do be bold in it medicine woman be bold be bold in it be bold so um like i said have faith how deep is your faith if it's time for you to step into your your divine healing time for you to start your meditation uh group your yoga yeah maybe you want to do yoga classes maybe you want to um make candles uh maybe you want to um, um 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 just anything that has to do with something spiritual maybe you want to step into it and you do not feel it's have faith how deep is your faith whatever customers that you want and that you need will come to you you don't have to search because when they when you're doing something that can help human humanitarian that can help it comes to you your customers come to you people who need help will come to you you don't have to go look for a customer because this is something that you love to do this is something that you love to do and like i said medicine woman divine healing power that means even before you knew or stepped into or on your path or on your journey you will this is something that you was already doing people was coming to you you probably are an empath and people was already coming to you asking for your advice so you trying to figure out i don't even know this lady i don't even know this man and they're coming to me wanting to know my advice you're ready be bold but how deep is your faith can you walk by faith and not by sight? Can you do that? Are you ready to do that? Um, so, with that being said, um, that was just a quick message that I wanted to share with y'all. Um, and uh, like I said, um, I do have an FC shop. Um, sometime this week, I will be putting the link in the description box down below because i've started to make my own mixtures of things and um little tips and tricks of certain things that i do um will be on my Etsy shop but um did like i said my name is lita g and i'm coming at you once again from divine intervention tv and you have a blessed night